Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be talking about some booktubers whose videos I've been really enjoying lately. So I realised the other day that I hadn't done a booktuber shout out video for ages. Um, I feel like I used to do them very regularly, but I haven't done one for a while. And I think part of the reason why is because um, I sort of feel like I've been exceptionally behind on booktube for a very long time. One of my goals for 2024 was to like sort out the way I watch booktube and I feel like I really have managed to do that. Previously to this year, I basically forever had a watch later playlist of like 150 to 250 videos and I was usually watching people's videos like three months after they put them up. So it always felt like I was very behind on booktube and I wasn't really discovering new people actively in the way that I used to. But over the last few months, I've made a really conscious effort to kind of change the way I watch booktube and try and fix that. So in December and January I cleared my watch later playlist. I'm now at a state where I have like 20 to 30 videos in my watch later playlist which is great and I've made a bigger effort to like specifically dedicate time to watching booktube and I feel like I've got to a, like a really nice balance now where um, I am watching people's videos like the week that they put them up um, which feels really nice and I have also discovered lots of new people in the last few months which is lovely because I feel like I hadn't done that for a little while. So I'm feeling much happier with my like booktube watching this year um, and I have discovered lots of new people relatively lately. So today I have 10 booktubers who I want to talk to you about, seven of which are channels I've discovered pretty recently and then there are three channels who I wanted to mention at the end um, that I've been watching for slightly longer that are slightly bigger channels but um, who I've just been really enjoying lately and I don't think I've spoken about much or before on this channel at all. So let me get into the shout out. The first channel I want to mention is And They Were Readers. This is a two-person channel run by John and Sierra who are two friends who love talking about books together and I've been really really loving their channel. They started it um, sort of two or three months ago I think um, in order to talk about books and in order to talk about their reading journey. So both of them are people who are kind of like getting back into reading and I've really enjoyed seeing them talk about like their reading journey as they get back into reading and kind of like discover what their reading taste is. That's really fun. Personally I really really enjoy channels with two people because I feel like the discussion that that creates can be really, really fun. And John and Sierra clearly have like a really nice, very bookish friendship. Um, so I really enjoy seeing that on screen. The dynamic between them is really fun and it creates like really fun, funny videos, which I've been really enjoying. They read a lot of literary fiction, quite a lot of classics, a few other bits and pieces. And I've just been really enjoying watching their videos so far. So I'll link down below a few videos that I think would be decent places to start with their channel. So I'm gonna link down below their booktube newbie tag, which, you know, introduces them in their first video. Um, video they did recommending books for Black History Month which was really fantastic um, and then their favourite books of 2023 video as well which I think gives you a good sense of both of their reading tastes. The next channel I want to mention is Aaron Read a Book or Aaron Read a Book. Um, I've been watching Aaron for a little bit longer. I think I discovered him back in Victober last year um, and I've just been really enjoying his videos recently. Aaron reads fairly broadly um, he reads quite a lot of classics, um, sci-fi and fantasy, historical fiction and other things. He's been enjoying Anthony Trollope lately which I obviously really enjoy as someone who loves Anthony Trollope a lot. His videos are very relaxed and laid back um, and I just really really enjoy that and especially I've really been enjoying his Friday Reads videos which are just like nice quick casual catch-ups. Um, I've just been really enjoying his videos. Again I'll link down below a few videos of his which I think you might enjoy. Um, so I'll link down one fairly recent Friday Reads video. It's probably not that recent anymore but he did talk about Anthony Trollope so I thought I would link that one down below because I know we have lots of people who enjoy Anthony Trollope here watching this channel. Um, I'll link down below his favourite books of 2023 video because I always think that's a really nice video to watch to um, get a sense of someone's reading taste. And I'll also link down below his Victorian literature journey tag um, which he made back in Victober, which I think was the video I discovered his channel from where he talks about his experiences with Victorian literature. The next person I want to mention is Lily's Little Library. She is another booktuber whose channel feels really relaxed and and um, calming in a way that I really, really like. Um, she reads quite widely, but she likes thrillers, fantasy, children's literature, classics, reading group fiction, and a lot more. She has very wide reading taste, um, but Jane Eyre is one of her favorite books, which of course I very much approve of. And I just have been really enjoying her videos so far. I really, really like her channels. 
she is another pretty new booktuber i think she started um at the beginning of 2024 and i've just been really enjoying her channel so far so i'll link down below a few videos um of hers that i recommend i'll link down below her booktube newbie tag because you know always a good way to um be introduced to a new booktuber and i'll link down below a recent wrap-up of hers um which will give you a good sense of her sort of broad reading taste and i'll link down below um the beginning of the year book tag that she did which i really enjoyed as well the next booktuber i want to mention is sarah from left to read she is another pretty new booktuber i think she started at the beginning of 2024 um went on a bit of a booktube newbie tag binge at the beginning of 2024 and found a lot of new people which is really lovely anyway i've been really enjoying sarah's channel so far we have slightly different reading taste i would say um but i always enjoy watching people's channels who have different reading tastes to me because i feel like it um opens my mind to new books and leads me to discover things that weren't otherwise on my radar um so she reads quite a lot of thrillers sci-fi and fantasy a bit of romance and sarah gets a lot of books from charity shops so she often ends up with backlist books or books that you don't necessarily hear of um elsewhere and i've just been really enjoying her channel so far she's very funny i feel like her presentation style is very good um so i'll link down below a few of her videos i'll link down below her book you've newbie tag because you know always a good introduction her best books of 2023 so you can get a sense of her reading taste and also a recent wrap-up as well the next booktuber i want to mention is another booktuber who started at the beginning of 2024 and that is danielle from chapters and chatters i have been really really enjoying danielle's channel so far it's a very cozy warm channel um and i've just been finding her videos really great fun to watch she likes historical fiction contemporary fiction um lots more and i've just been really enjoying watching her videos so i'll link down below um as i have done with quite a few people in this video um her booktube newbie tag and also her favorite books of 2023 because i do feel like a favorite books of the year video and a newbie tag like tells you so much that you need to know when you're finding a new booktuber and i'll also link down below a video she made recently called love for libraries where she talks about um why she really enjoys libraries and books that she's got out from the library lately and as someone who also loves libraries and uses my local library a lot um i really enjoyed that video so i definitely recommend that one the next booktube channel i want to mention is in tabby and her books now i have only discovered in tabby's channel very recently but she has been on booktube for quite a while however she took a pretty big booktube break like i think she was gone for like a year and a half um and then she came back to booktube um sort of end of last year i think and i've just been really really enjoying watching her channel ever since i found it she reads quite widely but she reads a lot of literary fiction and a lot of classics which obviously i really enjoy um and she does a really like great detailed reviews and i've just been really enjoying watching her videos so i'll link down below a couple of different videos from her i'll link down below her um evolution of a reader tag which i really enjoyed um and i think is a really Really fantastic tag uh, which tells you quite a lot about someone's reading tastes i'll also link down below a recent wrap-up so you can get a sense of her overall reading taste and i'll also link down below an individual book review she did of a book called valley of the dolls which i had never heard of before but her book review made me really really intrigued about it um, and it's just a really well done book review so i just really really recommend it tabby's channel and i'll leave links to those videos down below the next channel i want to mention is dan uni and books um so dan began his channel i think as like a study channel um he is a a mature student studying a degree in English literature and language um, with the Open University and I think the kind of earlier videos on his channel are talking about studying um, and studying with the Open University um, but because he's doing a degree in English literature and language um, he has been reading a lot um, and recently he's got into 19th century literature quite a lot and the majority of his videos um, in recent times have been about books um, and often about 19th century literature which obviously as someone who loves 19th century literature I've been really enjoying so I discovered his videos back in Victober and I've just been really enjoying his channel ever since. Um, and he has, as I said, been reading a lot of Victorian literature and doing a lot of great reviews. I think especially if you're someone who really enjoys individual book reviews of classics, then Dan's channel is definitely one that is worth checking out. I've also just really enjoyed watching his kind of like journey into discovering and getting more into 19th century literature, which I think was relatively new to him before sort of the last year or so. So I'll link down below a few of his videos. I'll link down below a video he did talking about um reading Anne and Emily Bronte's books um which includes a bit of a Howarth vlog which is really nice as well I'll link down below uh individual book review he did of The Dead Secret by Wilhie Collins which I found really interesting and I think we read The Dead Secret at similar times and I really enjoyed watching his book review of it because it was quite an odd book that I was trying to puzzle my thoughts out about and I'll also link down below a video he made called What I Read in 2023 and My Reading Plans for 2024 which I think give you a good sense of kind of his reading and what he's focusing on at the 
the moment and I just in general really recommend his channel I've been really enjoying it so far definitely one for um, people who love Victorian literature so those seven channels are all channels that I've discovered relatively recently um, I think Dan and Aaron I discovered back in um, October back in October um, and then the other ones I've discovered um, since the beginning of 2024 um, but I have three other channels that I wanted to mention today that I've been watching for a little bit longer um, that are slightly bigger channels uh, that have been going for a longer time but that I feel like I haven't mentioned for ages if at all on this channel. So the next booktube that I wanted to mention is Kirsten from Reading Nymph. I can't even remember how long I've been watching Kirsten. I feel like it's been ages but I'm not really sure um, but I just really really enjoy her videos and I've been especially loving them recently as I've tried in 2024 so far to like make more time for booktube and be a bit more like focused in my booktube watching. Um, I've noticed like the people whose videos I kind of always prioritize I guess and Kirsten's videos tend to be pretty high up that list um, I just really really enjoy her videos she reads a lot of fantasy also classics and historical fiction um, she also runs a kind of regular 24 hour readathon um, which is very laid back which I feel like not all 24 hour readathons are um, so I've been really enjoying that um, and she also does really fantastic reading vlogs so I really really enjoy um, which often include quite a lot of cooking and her cooking is very impressive so I'm really enjoying that as well um, so I'll link down below a few of her videos to get you started if you're new to her channel I'll link down below a recent reading wrap up um, probably from February I guess um, her top books of 2023 which should give you a good sense of her reading taste um, and also one of her recent weekly reading vlogs um, because I always really enjoy them. She also annotates and tabs her books quite a lot um, and often like has colour-coded tabs for different things um, which I really enjoy. I don't really annotate my books myself but I always quite enjoy watching other people doing it in reading vlogs or like seeing how they do it um, so I've been really enjoying that aspect of her channel too. The next booktuber I wanted to mention is Emma from A Cup of Books. Um, now Emma has been on booktube for a really long time but Emma took quite a big break from booktube and then she has come back. I used to really love her channels so I was so delighted when she came back to booktube in August last year and I've just been really enjoying her video since. I think I have mentioned her channel Channel on this channel before but many years ago before her hiatus and it's really nice to see her back. She reads a lot of non-fiction so if you're someone who enjoys non-fiction her channel is well worth a watch um, but she also reads quite a lot of contemporary fiction and classics um, and in general just reads pretty broadly I would say. I'm going to link down below a few of her videos um, to get you started. I'll link down below her top favourite classics video that she did recently which I really enjoyed. Also her reading taste tag which should give you a good sense of her reading taste overall and I'll also link down below a recent video she did about um, underrated books which I also really enjoyed. The next booktuber I wanted to mention is Bob the Booker. I think I've been watching Bob for I guess probably a year or so maybe a little bit more than that. I really enjoy his channel. I feel like his videos are both quite relaxed but very insightful. He reads a lot of literary fiction and um, he loves literary prizes and he has a project to try and read all the books that have been shortlisted for the Booker Prize over the Booker Prize's history which is why his channel is called Bob the Booker which I definitely only realised when I was preparing this shout out video before then I didn't understand that the booker in his channel name was a reference to the booker prize which I really feel like I should have got before now but anyway I really enjoy his channel I'll link down below his most recent like booker prize shortlist video about um, all the books that were on the booker prize shortlist from 1983 he also does great weekly reading wrap up so I'll link down below one of those as well and also his favourite books of 2023 video because as I said for many people in this video I do think those videos are a really great um, way of kind of getting a good sense of someone's overall reading taste. So there we go those are 10 booktubers whose videos I really really recommend do please go and check them out if you haven't already. I was also thinking while I was making this video um, that several years ago I used to do a kind of like recent booktube highlights video where I would talk about new people I'd found in the last few months and any like videos that I'd especially loved from the last few months I think I did them up until like 2019 maybe and then I stopped um, probably around the time that I lost control of my booktube watching and found that I was watching people's videos like three months after they post them because at that point doing a like recent booktube favourites video of videos that came out six months ago felt less relevant but now that I feel like I've got into a better habit of watching like current content I feel like I could do those kind of videos again if they would interest people like I feel like they would be quite fun I feel like that could be quite a nice way of um, shouting out specific videos that I thought were really great or mentioning people's channels who I really really enjoy but I've been watching for a long 
long time or people's channels who I really really enjoy but I've never mentioned that I really enjoy I feel like I watch so many booktubers um, and there are definitely lots of channels that I really really love that I just haven't mentioned on this channel or that I haven't mentioned on this channel for like four years or whatever like I feel like that might be quite a nice way of doing it so let me know if that would interest people and finally in the spirit of that idea I wanted to mention two videos that I really enjoyed recently from Claudia from Spencer's Library who I feel like many of you probably watch already but if you don't um, she's a really really fantastic booktuber and the two videos of hers that I really enjoyed recently one is her video on um, rating trashy vintage book covers of Frankenstein I really really enjoy Claudia's videos where she picks apart interesting strange bewildering covers of classics i just find them exceptionally funny and i also wanted to recommend her video um called what is a classic so by a weird coincidence both me and claudia posted a video on like the exact same day talking about definitions of classics um and what we mean when we say a book is a classic and my video was um quite a bit more rambly than claudia's um but i feel like we hit a lot of the same beats um so if you found that video of mine interesting then i think you'll definitely find claudia's video interesting um and i think we both have quite similar opinions about classics and um kind of what we value that are reading books from the past um so yeah i definitely recommend that video too so there we go i think that's all that i wanted to say today um but do let me know if you've watched any of these booktubers before if you enjoy their channels do please go and check them out if you haven't already and that's all for now thanks so much for watching and i'll be back very soon with another bookish video